just about ready to go. And on the mound now, Ross Stripling. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season. I mean, coming in, guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s. So many times there's some bad luck, but then also there's just a little miss here Leading or a little the miss there the that changes the outcome the of the at bat. We'll see if he can be consistent and make adjustments quickly in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Now the third baseman, Miguel Vargas. The one two. That one lifted to left on Duhar. Under it. Pulls it in for the out. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. One of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now. It's built to do damage, and they got some hitters that could punish the baseball, Chris. So fun to watch these players take their at-bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at-bats away, but really pitches away. Very aggressive, competitive in the zone. And when they connect, there's usually some loud noise to it. So we'll keep our ears open today. Out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. That's Had pretty good, good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped Please. it up. Robert. Two outs, space is empty. And next to hit for the Sox, Luis Robert. Two outs. Oh. And another ball. There's a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Down the line. And a foul ball. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. That one misses, and that's ball three. On the ground to the left. The throw to first, and they take care of Robert for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. League Baseball and it's on the show back in Oakland and towing the slab number 65 Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him well you know this guy wants to be better than that I mean the ERA is bloated he understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games and at this point you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W and if you do that you'll look up and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. The pitch. Foul ball there. Blind into right. Fletcher snags it. One up, one down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Singy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these guys, even during batting practice, when it doesn't matter, they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, he steps right in and continues with the pattern that they have established at this level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. And another ball. You know, you translate on base percentage, it's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Three Sheehan balls. says, OBP right. is life. Right. Swing and a miss struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there.
Left hand hitter waits and misses inside. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Nothing doing there for the A's. Scoreless after one. Second inning, set to go. So now it's the White Sox DH. Gavin Sheets. You know why Stripling has such a high arm slot? Well, he broke his leg in high school and couldn't play infield, so he was forced to adjust his throwing motion because of the cast on his leg. He changed his position, and he never looked up. The wind of the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> Yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty is his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. In the air, left field. Coming on. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Anyways, Rusty's got a good zone. Very good on the corners of the plate, but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it. Andrew Vaughn now. One down, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Ben Intendi to the plate. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Man at second here with two away. And here is Sosa to the plate. And a pitch. In the air, right side, on his way over. Makes the catch, and that is that. So they can't do anything with a two-out double. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Now here is Brent Rooker. Here's a 1 1. Looked like it was a little bit up. And it's even up. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Shea Langoliers getting ready to hit. Here's a 2-1. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And it goes just foul. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. That's outside, and it's three and two. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Ben Intendi going back on it. Gone. His second home run of the series, and the A's jump in front. It's one nothing. He just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts.
knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Next up for the A's, Abraham Toro. And the pitch. That's no, inside. That's Two and one. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Benintendi tracks it down for the out. Batting seven. The first baseman. Set. Two outs, base is empty. So here's Brown at the plate. And the pitch. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And another ball. Two outs, space is empty. That one to first. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Two outs, runner at first. Zach Gellar will hit next. And here it comes. And it is two and one. Two outs. Three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Foul tip into the mid, struck him out. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now 1 0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in the East Bay. New inning getting started. Now it's the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Got him. One gone here. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that, it's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you off, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. And that one fouled off. One, two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. That one almost got him. Fly ball to right. And there's two down. Now that third base. Miguel, Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the White Sox. A's leading by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. This one in the air. He's got it, and that'll do it. Down in order go the White Sox. And it remains 1 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the Not bottom of the stop. third. Now it's the shortstop, number 12. Jesus. 
Trying to bunt his way on. And that's just foul. Here's a one two. The shortstop takes the ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And a ground ball to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Back to the top of the lineup. And here is Lawrence Butler. One out, base is empty. Up and in, and that's ball three. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Fletcher makes the grab. Two away down. The left fielder, number 22. Miguel. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the left fielder, Miguel Andujar. Righty delivers. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. Just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Brings it in for the third out. And one, two, three, go the A's. They lead it one nothing. Start of the fourth, and the batter now, Brooks Baldwin. And the right-hander deals. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Lit in right there to make the grab. And there's one down. And now it's Luis Robert. Kicks and deals. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. White Sox down to run. Top half of inning number four. Pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox. Left hand batter waits. Good no, eye right there. The Two and one. That one finds the corner, and the count's even at two. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They still trail one nothing. and Chris Singleton with you and leading off the bottom of the fourth J.J. Blade. Right hander kicks deals. Sosa gathers and throws to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth.
One down, base is empty. Got it by him for the K. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. The one two. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And that will end the inning. A's go quickly and quietly there, but they hold a one nothing lead. Back here in the East Bay. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Up the middle. Throw on to Brown. One away here in the fifth. Now batting left field, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. That one in there across the letters. The White Sox down by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. Drought ball right side. He steps on the bag. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. So he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. One one now. Ripped, but it curls foul. Here's a one two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. They trail here, one nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Abraham Toro. And the righty deals. Swinging a foul straight back. At the belt and fires. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Line drive, and it stays fair. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Everything came together for him. That can be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Digging in for Oakland, Seth Brown. Man at second. Ball two. Two balls. One straight. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The three one. Fastball for a strike. There's a swing and a drive. Out of here. They must be going crazy in the dugout. His 11th of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3 0. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure.
with a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Next to hit, Zach Gelloff. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. A very frustrating right there Not as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's the shortstop at the play. One down, base is empty. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Righty to the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now batting, the so the hitter. Oakland lineup turns Lawrence. over, and next is the designated Lawrence. hitter, Lawrence Butler. Two down, nobody on. That misses, two and one. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Goes down looking. The A's with a two run blast as the A's are on top. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Oakland at the play, Dominic Fletcher. Well, after putting up a nice Dominic. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And yeah, that's in there at the knees for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Got him. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Here's Corey Lee. Corey Lee. The pitch. Out to center. Geloff on the move. Takes it in for the out. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the now outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. And another ball. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. In the air, out towards right center. Sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the A's three and the White Sox nothing. New pitcher for the White Sox, Jonathan Cannon. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Jonathan Cannon. Here's Miguel and Duhar. The left fielder, Miguel Andujar. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Number 60, the young right-hander up and throwing. Crochet, the lefty, warming up as well. Now a high fly ball out to left center. 
Ben Intendi ranging after it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting the center fielder, J.J. This is J.J. Blade. The 1-1. One, one. That one ripped right center field. Fletcher going back to the warning track. Makes the catch. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Two outs, base is empty. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Brent Rooker. Just missed. And now it's even up. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. That one is absolutely belted. And no one can get there. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now back. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. Two outs and one in scoring position. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Swing and a miss, and that is that. The A's strand one, but they lead it 3 nothing. We go to the top of the seventh, and the batter will be the shortstop, Brooks Baldwin. The White Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. On the ground. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Luis Robert now. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now that Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long Gavin Sheets steps to the plate for the White Sox and he deals Robert on the go pitching for a strike safe in second and that was not close when you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job that was a great jump right there really nice steal at second base The pitch. Chopper right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. And a pitch. In the air to left center. That one gets down for a hit. The run comes in from second, and it's now a two-run game. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot Ross Stripling departs really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead we'll take a break new arm when we get back
They bring a young arm out of the bullpen in this spot. Will Klein. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Runner on at first with one gone. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. And that drops in for a strike. With the tying run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Andrew Benatendi steps up. The tying run at the plate. And a foul ball. The one two. Two and two. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Tying run at the plate. Out towards right center field. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Abraham Toro. Swings through that one. One and two. On the ground, right side. Uh -oh. And he picks it up in foul territory. Right handed reliever. Up the middle, Baldwin. Whips it to first on the run. Out. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Now batting. First baseman. Set. Brown. So up next, Seth Brown. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh. And no, delivers no. outside. Swings through that one out in front that time. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. 2-2. Two -two. Okay. And there's a ball. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. We know you've got to watch the ball all the way into the glove. I think he just tried to be too quick right there and skip the first step of the process. I'm sure he's in disbelief at what just happened, more so than anyone else. Zach Geloff up next for the A's. Brown leads off first with one away. Boots it. 
Lead runner makes the turn at second. And he'll pull into second safely. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now it's the shortstop. The 1-1. One, one. That one hit to right. He's got it. And there are two down. The designated hitter, number four, Lawrence Butler. Next is the designated hitter, Lawrence Butler. Base knock here. So it's second and third occupied. They go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded, and there's a force at every base. Base is full, two gone. Next up for the A's, Miguel Andujar. Two outs, bases are full. Base hit, one run is in. Here's the throw, it's offline, and he scores. Well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. White Sox going with a new arm, Garrett Crochet. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. First and second, two outs. J.J. Bladé up next for the A's. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. One and two. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And now the lefty, and a swing and a miss, and that's that. They put two on the board on two base hits. Two errors, but two are left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the A's five, and the White Sox one. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Kyle Muller. And he's got a nice lead to work now with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now it's going to be Lennon Sosa. The pitch. Fly ball center field. Nice grab on the run. And a quick out number one. Now batting right fielder, Dominic. And up next for Fletcher. Chicago, Dominic Fletcher. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Oh. And now two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The lefty fires. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Just off the inside edge. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Gerardo Reyes getting ready to go. Otanez getting cranked up as well. The wide to kick the pitch. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Corey Lee steps to the plate for the White Sox. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels... Oh, that pitch got away from him. And that's a hit by pitch. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. 
Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Up Stepping in, Chicago. the White Sox leadoff man, Miguel Vargas. Miguel Vargas. Vargas. And a pitch. And a pop off right side, foul territory. That's out number two. Now that So first and second with two outs. Brooks Baldwin steps to the plate for the White Sox. Fletcher, the lead runner out at second. Lee at first, two out of the inning. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Brown. That's out number three. White Sox strand a couple. They're down here five to one. Back here in the East Bay, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. Oh. And that misses off the outside edge. Action in the pen down there. Number 60 up and loosening in the pen. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Fletcher moving under this one. He makes the grab and there's one down. Now batting catcher Shea. Now a catcher up to hit, Shea Langoliers. The count two and one. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Really tight bite on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. Next one misses. Ball two. And that one cutting but missing down low. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And he grounds one back up the middle, finds his way through base hit. He was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Runner at first with two away. And now Seth Brown. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. This to center field. Robert moves under it. Brings it in. And that's the inning. One left for Oakland. They're up 5-1. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Gerardo Reyes. He pitched yesterday, and we'll now see him once again. Number 92, Gerardo Reyes. Luis Robert now at the plate. The center fielder, Luis Robert. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. The pitch That's just the missed. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Michelle Otanez appears to be getting loose. Mack also getting ready. One down, base is empty. And Outside. Three and one. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's three and two. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. And that one is lifted in the air. It gets down a base hit. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. So up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. And another ball. Man at first, one away. And that's Thank ball you, four. The left fielder, number 23, Andrew Benintendi. On the mound now, Robbie Mack on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he... Oh, that ball finds its way into the outfield. A base hit. In there safely. It's 5-2. Comes through with the RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So digging in, Lennon Sosa. Tying run at the plate. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. So it's their last chance in this one. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Two on, two outs. Swings and misses. One and two. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The White Sox down to their final strike. To the right side. Down the line, and it's foul. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two outs. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Here comes the throw. Tag, got him, and that's the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final score, 5-2. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.